boy, do I love a good army building set. How's it going, everybody? Mike here from Kapowcast. Here with another Power Rangers Lightning Collection figure review. Today we are taking a look at the Putty Patrollers 2-pack Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Uh, this is for the sole purpose of army building. I have a, a couple different sets, uh, but we have a nice image of the putties on the front here. A little image on the side. Same on that side. There they are on the back. Thanks a lot, Hasbro. Good job making sure my boxes are minty fresh. Uh, but nothing much more to the package, and these are fairly simple um, boxes, uh, which is funny because one of mine actually, I got another one right here. One of mine actually uh, came untaped. I just literally popped it open and there it was. And I think they might have just forgotten the tape because it doesn't look like anything was removed. But. This guy, I mean, is just super simple. You just open on the side here. Grab my handy dandy bat knife. -na 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 -na. I guess there's no sense in being careful considering the box is already all jacked up. Helps if I use the right side of the knife as well. But, and you just open the side here. Figures just slide right out. And there they are in their lovely little blister cardy type thing, plastic tray. Not blister card, plastic tray. It's been a long day, kids. Uh, but we're gonna get these guys out of their tray and take a look and see how they stack up. And our putty patrollers do come with some accessories. They come with alternate hands, so if you want them to have normal hands, they can. It's the same exact hand, so nothing new there. They come with this new little effect piece. I think this is actually, actually I don't think this is new. I think this is the same one that came with the Yellow Ranger, I think, I don't know. All the effects kinda run together for me. And they also come with this little uh, blast effect here that's supposed to mimic when they get hit. So you grab your putty patroller, just kind of place that on. And he's been hit. I'm actually wondering if some people will take, uh, cut these parts off and maybe get some like sticky tack and do it that way. But I mean, if you angle it right, it does look pretty good, so. Let's get uh, nearest ranger I had. Look at Tommy here. So if you get him like that, you know, it could work. I mean, this isn't obviously the most intricate setup, but you know, it could be kind of a cool, fun uh, photo effect for you. And this one here, there goes Tommy. <laughs> this one here, uh, these are, oh, I always have a hard time finding where these insert, uh, I think it's right here. So I don't remember them having energy or blast or anything when they had those on. I don't know what that comes from, but I mean, it is what it is. So that's about it for the accessories. Um, let's take a look at the putties. And here's the two putty patrollers out of the package. Um, nothing crazy new here. These are the exact same figures, just with some slightly different deco. Um, yeah, but they uh, each come with a ball hand and the sword hand. Pretty great, pretty gray plastic. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on, really. The only thing, I mean, and I think I said this with the Fighting Spirit Putty, um, I think I would have preferred some kind of wash on the face to kind of bring out the details because you bring a closer look, like they do have detail on the face. And just overall, like it just looks very plain. I feel like the putties were more shiny, darker gray. But I tell you what, when I look at these, when I, especially when I look from behind, they look like the, the Z putties, the Z putties. You can almost imagine the vest being right here perfectly cut, Z right there. I guarantee you when they do eventually release those, it's just gonna be a rubber type overlay. Um, and hopefully maybe they do darken up the face because I do remember them having lighter, they were like this lighter tone, but I think they had a much darker uh, face. So yeah, I know um, it's a little early in the review for a comparison, but we had to get him in here. And what's cool is if you were spending the money to kind of army build this guy, um, 
you now have a nice variation because they all have different, slightly different deco going on. And I think that's really cool to kind of give at least some variety so it doesn't look like 100% the same figure, even though it 100% is. But, yep, I'm really liking uh, getting a Putty Patroller armor, army going. I can't talk in these reviews. I get, I get word vomit. So articulation for these guys is pretty standard. Uh, heads on a ball joint, so you can move side to side. You can look up that far, they can look down. No real pivot. They have butterfly joints. The arms can rotate. They have swivel at the bicep. Double uh, jointed elbows uh, and a wrist swivel. They don't have a hinge or anything on these wrists, which does kind of limit posability, but you know, made it work. Uh, he does have that upper diaphragm joint, so you kind of wobble all around and you get extra crunch, which is good for the putty patrollers. That looks really good. I like that. Uh, the legs can go out that far. They can go up that far. They can go back. Swivel at the thigh. Double jointed elbows with a boot swivel. Ankle rocker and hinge. Er, <laughs> well, I got that backwards. Ankle hinge and rocker. So yep, it's your standard fare for the Lightning Collection, which is, I've said before, articulation is really where this line shines. Um, but I love having these putties. I love having a putty army. Um, maybe I'll grow it a little bit more, who knows? We'll see. And oh boy, the putties are multiplying like rabbits, but I'm very excited, I'm very happy to have them. I love army building stuff like this. Got a few more on the way and then I'll be done. Uh, I do feel a little silly doing it since I know we will get the Z putties and I wanna army build those. Uh, so that's why I'm not going quite as deep into the army building as I did with the foot soldiers. Uh, no comparisons this time around. I feel like it's kind of moot. It's the same exact figure that we did before. Uh, if you want to see the review, a little thing should pop up somewhere over here, I'm guessing. Uh, but if you want to see comparisons and stuff like that, go ahead, check it out. And also, um, I did do a comparison with Rita and the current Putty Patroller, so there's really no point in doing that again. If you like this review and you want to see more, go ahead, click like, hit subscribe along with the bell notification, get notified of all the great content we've been posting on this channel. Plenty of Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Hot Toys, Marvel Legends, it's all in there. Great stuff. Until next time, take care.